What's good, everybody? Time to get back to some Eastern Illinois Panther football here in the Big Ten, man. Now we it's time for the offseason, right? USC, they won a national championship. They are perfect. They are perfect. They perfect, y'all. They perfect. So left and right end are secure. We also have another guy who was a freshman last year who played pretty well for us. So our left end, right end situation, our D end situation is pretty solid. We got this free safety. Both safeties, I believe, are leaving. Most likely not for the NFL. They just graduated. The eligibility is up. I hope they have a wonderful life after football. Maybe to go into the coaching route. Anyways, man, we got to fill some holes, man. I want this team to be better than what it was this past season. We almost made it to a bowl game, but almost doesn't count. We did beat our first Big Ten opponent, and that was Illinois. So, in-state rivalry, we're winning. <laughs> Can't you see? But it's time to jump to the offseason. So school budget looks like this. We got 37% for uh, recruiting, 33% for training, and then 30% for discipline. And we've had a couple guys get suspended. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, so here are the guys who are leaving via graduation. Album Walker. We also have a transfer tied in from last year who's coming. He's going to be eligible this season. We also have a transfer running back that's coming, so he's going to be good this season. King. He's gone as well. Uh, McGenty, he is gone as well. My boy Charlie, four more. He's gone as well. McNeil, he's gone. Jones, right tackle, he's gone. Golden, he's gone. Dickerson, he is gone as well. Porter, he is gone. Kennedy, our kicker, is gone. Harrison, who we really, we really didn't play that much this season, he is gone. Number year one, he was our focal point at tailback this season. I feel like he wasn't even better than Golden, even though he was 68 overall. Anyways, man, uh, Michael Cox, he's gone. So, like I said, both safeties are gone. Adam, uh, Adam, really, Andy Jacobs, he's gone as well. First team Big Ten quarterback, Derek Willis, he's gone as well. So we got to refill, re reload this whole team. Hopefully, we don't take no steps back, man. All right, so we have some more guys that are transferring to our school. We have this halfback, so he won't be eligible till the next season. And we have this free safety who also won't be eligible till the next season. I'm going to take it because they're probably going to be upgrades from what we got already. So these are the guys who are interested. And you tell me we got a five-star recruit that wants to come to our small school. He's looking at SAU, Texas A&M, Prom U, Penn State, and, of course, our school as well. Don't know if I'm a fool with him because we only have 88 points for 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 recruiting. If I could speak, we only have 88 points. So I don't even know if I'm gonna mess with him. Already kind of down on his list, down on his list as well, man. I might look at like some three star and two star recruits, man. I, I'm gonna just keep it 100. If we're not in the top three already. I might just be like, nope, not gonna do it, man. But I'm probably gonna do all this recruiting and then I'm gonna give you guys the results when we're done. Um. Yeah, that's most likely how I'm gonna do it. So don't expect no, 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 no four star, five stars unless they have us like in their top. Like this guy, he's a six seven three oh eight athlete. What? Get out of here, an athlete? Okay. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna take that. All right. We also got this guy. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of searching because again, I want this team to be good. We got this halfback who wants to come to town. We got a bunch of halfbacks already on the roster, but if he got some good speed, I might I might mess with him. We could put him as a punt returner, kick returner, let him ride the pond until he's a junior, you know. But all right, I'm going to do all this stuff, and I will see you on a little bit. Oh, and before I do dip, this is the team overview. They say we need quarterback, halfback, wide receiver, tackle, center, offense, offensive lineman, I'm sorry, Oh, outside linebacker, middle linebacker, strong safety, and kicker. So these are some of the decisions I'm going to make real quickly. Uh, this guy, he has the D for pass accuracy. Ricky Lindsey, he is going into a sophomore season. Um, so I don't expect these guys to play unless, of course, Ricky Lindsey gets hurt. His arm strength is good at an A. So I'm liking him. We're on top of his list. But discipline is poor. I don't want nobody on my team getting suspended no more, man. Like, I really, really don't. So, I'm going to run it like I was really running a real college program, not just playing NCAA 06. And we're going to go after this guy. He's a one-star recruit, all right? We're going to be pulling for Josh Jones, all right? We're going to be pulling for him, all right? 
We're going to be pulling for this guy. He's slower than slow. He's going to be that pocket passer. Hand off to my running backs. We're going to go after this guy. Should be a pretty easy, easy signing. He's a one-star guy. Let's do it. Why not? So this time around, I'm not trying to battle with no schools because, again, as you can see, I've been scouting more. Because, again, I don't want nobody with bad potential. If, as long as you can, can catch, block, run a little bit, and you're not going to get suspended, you can play on this team. <laughs> okay? Okay? We, we are still just struggling to build this team. But because we do need an outside linebacker, but he's at the bottom, and I don't want to even waste scouting points on him because, again, don't want to be in no recruiting battles because I don't think we can afford it. We have three senior outside linebackers. So what I'm going to do next season in in-season recruiting, go out there outside linebacker there, and hopefully it works out. So I have never seen this before. A DNQ. So I'm guessing did not qualify. I, <laughs> I'm guessing that that's what that means. But everybody else we kind of got, kind of didn't get. We already had those guys on the roster. We did go with the four-star halfback. Why not get as many good halfbacks as we can get? We can move them around, put them at kick returner, punt returners, things of that nature. So we got one tackle, but we needed like two of them things. We, we, we needed two tackles. We, yeah, yeah, because we, we, we only have one on the roster. So we have to move some people around. Maybe we get a walk-on or two. It's going to be it's gonna be tough sledding again. going to be tough sledding. I also got this receiver. Oops, my bad. I also got this receiver. Um, got this athlete who is 6'5", 265. So maybe he could play tackle. Or maybe he probably put him on the defense side of the ball. This athlete ended up going to, what, what, what school is it? Is that Ball State? I think that's Ball State. He ended up going to Ball State. Uh, we also got this fullback who committed. This center, he ends up going to Kansas. Quarterback ends up going to Iowa. We actually started recruiting Reed a little bit later on. He was in state, so I figured we got some extra recruiting points. Why not try to find somebody? He might be a tad bit better at quarterback. But it didn't work out. James Williams, he's going to be our kicker. Uh, we also got Davis, a strong safety, 6'2", 209. We also got this linebacker, Reed, uh, middle linebacker, 6'2", 230. So a kind of, little bit undersized. Maybe not so much undersized. Then we also got Josh Jones. I'm going to be pulling for Josh Jones, man. This is the first time that I've ever, like, recruited one-star recruits. All right? It's tough sledding here in eastern Illinois. And I did turn off recruiting assistants because I want I want to try to build this team myself you know what I'm saying but yeah that's that let's check out the top signings top classes number one goes to Florida Oklahoma my baby's SAU Cal then you got LSU you got Miami Georgia Ohio State Georgia Tech uh, Iowa USC there's not too many teams that are just racking up five-star recruits, which is kind of it's kind of cool to see most of the time it's just four-star recruits Nebraska then I'm a 14 Texas Tech Auburn, Virginia, Texas, Michigan, Penn State. I want to play Penn State this year, too. We haven't played Penn State yet. Tennessee, UCLA, Prime U, another one of my babies. And then number 25 is uh, Boise State. Let's see where they rank us. See where they rank us. I saw ATU was like top 40. Okay, not bad. Not bad. East Illinois, we had the top 50 class. I'm going to take that. We only signed 12 people. We had the top 50 class. I'm going to take that. And National Top 100, just to take a look, Michael Boone, he was the number one player, overall player, big baller, going to LSU. Then you got this tackle going to OU. You got this outside lineback going to Virginia Tech. I'm going to just do the top 10. We got to face this guy, Ward, going to Purdue. My baby's got a top tackle. Look at SAU doing that thing. Texas got themselves a uh, number one position, number one at his position at uh, strong safety, 62209. Oh my goodness. Then ATU, do your thing. ATU got Bradshaw from San Diego. Do your thing. Then the oh, you got another, got another top ten guy. If we face Penn State, gotta go up against this guy, Big J, six four two seventy two. So maybe we could put that athlete at tackle. Oh, you racking it up. They had two top ten prospects, man. Good for them. All right, man. So Ricky Lindsay is now 80 overall but this is all about position changes so we're gonna look at everybody else a little bit later but that's a good sign jones he's already our second string quarterback bro he's already been ready he's already better than bobby london um all right let's look at our athletes we got this one guy if he could be a tackle that would be nice that would be nice 65 overall tied in 68 left tackle let me make sure that I put him on the right tackle side, as in like the, you know, you, you know what I'm trying to say. So we have left tackle, we have right tackle. 
Uh, I guess it really doesn't matter because he's not going to start, but let's put him at right tackle for now. Uh, yeah, let's do that. So he's going to be a right tackle. So I'm glad that I ended up recruiting him. Right tackle for you. Oh, I could put him at guard. Or center. We did We Actually, we did miss out on a center. We did miss out on center. And he actually will be our best center. So you know what? I'm going to put him at center. Let's do this. I'm going to put him at center. He's going to be our best center. 70 overall center as a freshman. Or as a... Is he a freshman? Or is he a junior college? He's a junior. All right. So he's a junior. All right. He's a junior. That's right. You're going to be our new center, baby. So after some training and scouting, I mean, not scouting, but training, Allen Thompson, who transferred. So this is last year in college because he transferred last year. I had to sit out that year. He is up to 82 overall. He was our breakthrough guy. We also had Lindsey. Look at that. 84 overall. He was at 80. Sophomore quarterback. I'm liking it. Also got Hal, Hal I believe Hal. He is 82 overall. He transferred last year as well. So I'm liking our situation right now. Welsh, moderate game, bro. I mean, Welsh, you gotta step it up, bro. You gotta step it up right now. You, <laughs> right now, you're gonna be a kick returner. I'm just saying, bro. You gotta, gotta step it up, bro. You, you, you're having a whack off season. That's all I can say. We only have four receivers. If I would have known that, I would went after a receiver. Oh well. Um, <clears throat> hopefully our tight ends can step it up and be maybe a slot receiver as well. We are undermanned. We are undersized. We, yeah. <laughs> so again, it's gonna be it's gonna be some tough sledding here. All right, so let's check out our roster because we did get some walk-ons. Let's see if anybody walked on to receiver to be a receiver. We got two safeties, got two strong safeties. Yeah, this guy just walked on. So we got a couple people who walked on. All right, a couple people who walked on. I'm not mad at that. He's not gonna play this year. He's gonna be available next season. Cornerback was slim at cornerback, real slim at cornerback. Not a good look right now. Linebacker were okay. D tackle was solid. Right and left end were pretty good there. Center, we got a couple people to we got one guy to walk on, right? Yeah, one guy walked on to be a center. Guard looking pretty looking a little bit better. Got this guy to walk on. So if anything does happen, at least we do got some backups. We did get somebody walking at, at receiver. Did we? Yeah. Did he walk on? We have a 70 overall walk-on receiver with 86 speed. So Morris is not a walk-on. I did recruit him. But when I was recording this, I took a break and I forgot what happened in recruiting. So I get hyped over a 70 overall walk-on. Well, he really didn't walk on. He's a three-star receiver. Anyways, back to the video. I'll take that. <laughs> I will definitely take that. We got three halfbacks, three fullbacks, excuse me. We also have, who else? No, we recruited you. Okay, and you, you transfer. He's going to be next year's running back. He transferred. Parker's going to be here next year. Okay, you're next year's running back. So it's going to be these guys. These guys right here are going to be our tailbacks. All righty. Quarterback situation. London, you got a little bit better. I like that. Good for you in your last season. All right, man. So our best, our top four players, man. Dunlap. We also got Ricky Lindsey. We got Bollock. A bullock, excuse me, and we got Parker, but he won't play this season. He'll play next season. So Thompson and Hal. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too mad at that. I'm not too mad at that. All right, so we have an A schedule already, and we do play Penn State, baby. First year playing Penn State is what I like to see. I'm down to change all of this. I'm down to keep all of this. Y'all can leave your suggestions. Don't give me nobody crazy. Why are you playing number four Iowa, number nine Michigan? No Ohio State on our schedule. No Ohio State. All right. So we get a break there. <laughs> um, so, yeah. If you guys want me to add, I think I can add a team right here. So I can add somebody. I might keep the, rock, the schedule the way it is. You can leave your suggestions. I'm going to check them out, see what I'm feeling, see what I'm not feeling, so on and so forth. I'm going to edit our players. Uh, you know how I do. I'm not going to register anybody. Um, but when we look at the rosters, like our walk-on receiver, got to swag him out. Morris, he's a walking, he's wearing number two, looking all, look, I like that number, I like that number, wearing number two, he already looks pretty good, go give him that shut helmet though, shot, shoot, shot, shoot, 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 whatever it is, and of course, everybody on the team rocks blue tape, that's what we do with everybody, so I'm gonna go through the roster, I'm gonna swag everybody out just a little bit, then we're gonna start our season probably in a couple of days, maybe tomorrow, who knows, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys are looking forward to this season. I know I am. I know I is. I know I is. I, 
it might not be a great season, but I like I like this because now I feel more invested in these players because I mean hey, he's a one star 59 overall player. He might not ever blossom into who I need him to be. But I like this because when you have a recruiting assistant on or assist on, you will get players that didn't recruit onto the squad and then you know I don't I wasn't feeling it. That's why those dynasties will die out quicker or whatever. I want to push this one as far as I can. And I think doing it this way might keep me more interested than in years past. But anyways, man, this is your guy, Josh Jones, future star. Probably not, though, because my boy Ricky Lindsey, he's still a sophomore, 84 overall. I'm feeling this kid. Anyways, I'm going to do also in-season recruiting. We got to make sure that we get some studs during the in-season recruiting period. That's when we can really build our team. But until then, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope the rest of your day is the best of your day. Y'all stay safe out there. Touch something on your screen real quick, and I'm gone. Peace, love, hot sauce.